UNCG men's basketball team traveled down I-40 to face off against Triad Ravel Elon. The Spartans came back from a first half deficit and played a strong second half, but the Phoenix were able to come away with the win, 72 to 66. The Spartans came out in the first half with energy and were only down two, 10 to eight, after a little over five minutes had been played. UNCG was aggressive on D and on the boards, but the Phoenix had begun to take advantage of their post presence and led 23 to 16 at the under eight media timeout. The Spartans had some turnovers as the half progressed and the Phoenix took advantage. Elon also took advantage of missed matches on D and led 33 to 19 with 2.57 left in the half. During the last few minutes of the half, the Spartans struggled offensively but refocused on D and cut the deficit to 10, 35 to 25 by halftime. The Spartans came out of the locker room re-energized and six straight points by Kyle Kane helped the Spartans cut the deficit to seven, trailing 40 to 33 at the under 16 media timeout. And by the time the under 12 media timeout had rolled along, the Spartans had totally flipped the script. Hard takes to the basket fueled UNCG and it was freshman Tyrone Otlaw with the and one bucket to put the Spartans on top, 44 to 41. But the Phoenix found a way to get back on top, 50 to 46, by the 752 mark. The shooting struggles emerged once again for UNCG, but the Spartans were still fighting back. The Spartans were down three, 62 to 59, with just over a minute after two free throws by Tavon Sadler. Elon quickly responded with the bucket and was up 64 to 59 with 46.2 seconds to go. Kayla Locke tipped in the rebound and the Spartans were down three, 64 to 61, with 35.9 seconds to go. After a foul, the Phoenix extended their lead to five at the strike, and a turnover by the Spartans on the next trip down gave it back to the home team. A battle against the clock and the foul line ensued, but the Phoenix were able to hold on for the win. Coach Miller was happy with the defense after holding Elon to just about 40% shooting, and also holding the best three-point shooting team in the league to two from 20 from behind the arc. Guys, I was really pleased with the way we guarded in the half court defensively tonight, even in transition defense. Uh, I'm going... I'm racking my brain right now. I never, the, the stat sheet that says points in transition might be the worst thing that official stat keepers keep because it's never accurate when we grade the film. But other than the, the turnover we had taking the ball out of bounds, which was just a bonehead play, uh, and then the one turnover that we had in the open floor, I don't think we gave up a point in transition tonight, and there was probably no way to avoid those two baskets there. So other than two bonehead plays that lead to easy twos, I thought our transition D was just terrific. I thought our half-court defense was terrific. You're talking about the leading three-point shooting team in the conference. We hold them to two for 20. Certainly they missed a couple that were easy ones, but most of them were really challenged tonight. That was a big key for us coming into the game was to make it difficult for them to get threes. Sadler and Kane led the Spartans with 16 points apiece and Locke added 15. The Spartans have almost a week off before heading to Statesboro, Georgia to battle against Georgia Southern. The Spartans will be looking for a bit of redemption after a tough 64-62 loss to the Eagles last weekend. For UNCGSpartans.com, I'm Kaylee Donegan.